Thanks, Clark. It's good to have you back. Well, it's nice to see something other than jail for you. Well, I just got off the phone with Ethan. After Lex's statement, the arson, ah, the arson charges have been dropped. Okay. And from what Ethan said, I think we've seen the last of Desiree Atkins. What about my escape? Well, considering your age and the fact that you did save Lex Luthor's life, they're willing to let you off with a stern warning. We're very lucky this time, son. Did Lex say anything about what happened? I think we'd both like to put that way behind us. And now, Mrs. Kent, if you are finished here, I would like to take you out to dinner. Solo, if you don't mind, Clark. I don't mind. Clark. Just hoping I find you. Hey, Lex. How you feeling? <sighs> like I'm waking up from a bad dream. You really loved her, didn't you? I thought I did. I filed for an annulment, which my lawyers tell me should be final in a couple of days. I'll let the police deal with Desiree. And when that's finished? I try to be more cautious. I let my passion get the best of me. I won't make that mistake again. Lex, I don't think having passion is such a bad thing. You're right, Clark. Passion for life and work and friends is great. As long as you keep it in check. I should take a page out of your book. How do you mean? The way you deal with Lana. I've always told you to go for it, but you don't. Even now that the quarterback's out of the picture. Well, I want to, believe me, but... Lana needs to work out her feelings for Whitney first. I can wait. Don't wait too long. <laughs>